Aluminium is a very common resource used for manufacture in many industries. These include automotive and aircraft industry, household appliances, building, packaging and electrotechnic industry. The properties characteristic for aluminium are very desirable. We use aluminium and aluminium alloy products whenever we need low weight, high strength, good form mobility, high corrosion resistance as well as fine aesthetic design. We have visited the Impex Metal Aluminium Conin Factory to have a closer look at the manufacture of aluminium products. Our visit starts at the casting house. This is the place where aluminium slabs are manufactured. These slabs are semi-products for metal forming. The raw materials are delivered to the casting house in the form of aluminium ingots, aluminium T-bars, process and post-consumed scrap. Different types of alloying additions are used for correcting chemical composition. The metal is loaded onto the charging machine, which transports the charge directly to the melting gas-fired furnace. This is where the remelting process is conducted. This process takes place at temperature up to 1000 degrees Celsius. During melting, the dross arises. That is oxidized metal which has to be removed from the furnace. Molten metal is poured to the casting furnace by launder system. The metal is undergoing constant degassing, filtration and refining process. The metal is poured from the casting furnace into slabs on the direct chill casting units upon achieving a proper temperature and chemical composition. The slab length is 6.5 meters and its maximum weight is 10 tons. Then slabs are cut into blocks which constitute the semi-products for the rolling mill plant. During the casting, samples are taken and sent over to the laboratory where the chemical composition is examined. Furthermore, tensile and metallurgical tests are performed on the rolled samples. Now we move on to the rolling mill where finished products are manufactured. The slabs delivered from the casting house are first scalped. The top layer with an undesirable structure is removed. After having been scalped, it is placed in the furnace to heat the slab to a temperature of approximately 500 degrees Celsius. Then the slab is transported by roller tables to rolling mill where hot rolling process is carried out. The rolling mill is equipped with two backup rolls and two work rolls. During hot rolling process, slab thickness is being reduced from 390 mm down to a final range of 3.5 to 9 mm. After hot rolling, the strip is coiled and taken to the storehouse where it needs to be cooled down. The next phase of the process is cold rolling, which is performed below recrystallization temperature. The final thickness of the material is obtained on particular cold rolling mills. The minimum range is 40 micrometers. During the process, the thickness of the strip is controlled by X-ray gauges and its flatness by an automatic control system. In order to achieve perfect flatness, the strip is undergone tension leveling process after cold rolling. The strip surface can be additionally degreased. We are now close to the end. A 60 micrometer thick rolled up strip is about 40 kilometers long. That is what we get from an aluminium slab which at the beginning was 6 meters long. An aluminium sheet is obtained on one of the cut-to-length line. The sheet gets its length on drum shear machine. At the end, packages with coils and sheets are weighed and taken to the warehouse. Final flat rolled products manufactured in Kona are used to produce license plates, heat exchangers, car body components, cans, bottle caps and elements used in electrical engineering and the building industry.